morning everybody today I have a cool video looking at 14 different pellets that I fired from my PC 77 pump master classic by Crossman at a uh, maximum rated 10 pumps maximum feet per second setting you can see there's seven pellets on this side three examples of the orange stinger up top and six pellets over on the right hand side on the bottom you'll see that I have selected my five favorites which I'll go over a little bit later and two hotly debated closely compared hollow points at the end of the video in any event let's get started very top pellet gamo armor Again, this is with the uh, Pump Master Classic by Crossman. It is a, a multi-pump, variable power air pistol, and uh, it's rated 600 feet per second. This was at 10 pumps. All of these were, were performed at uh, maximum power 10 pumps. Next one in line is the Gamo Raptor PBA, the uh, PBA Gold, followed by the gamo red fire with no tip which you can see mushroom really well and tumbled a little bit it's nice to see uh, a round actually mushrooming out in a lower power uh, lower power air gun next one right below it is the skenko ultra shock then you have the gamo blue flame gamo red fire with the tip intact and the Beeman Chrome Magnum at the very bottom there on the left. Up top we've got three examples of the top penetrator in any test I've performed with any pellet gun with these, with these uh, pellets. The uh, Orange Stinger. And what I mean by top penetrator is I don't really compare these to other pellets because it's not really a fair test. They always win by a wide margin and I think that they uh, are really cool pellets but they definitely sacrifice a little bit of accuracy for that added penetration Let's see we got six pellets over on this side to look at up top what looks like a uh, lead mushroom right there is the crossman destroyer standard good tried and true pellet did exactly what it was supposed to like the fact that it mushroomed at, like I said a lower power 600 feet per second instead of like a thousand foot per second break barrel or something then we have the uh, Skenko pointed pellet good performer tried and true pretty accurate PBA Crossman pointed Gamo rocket CPHP Crossman premier hollow point point. at the very bottom we have the Crossman SSP supersonic pellet hollow point. It's basically a PBA match pellet with a little piece milled out of the center. Very accurate, but I think you need more velocity to really flatten these out. My top five favorite pellets to shoot from this gun so far. I like the Skenko pointed pellet from uh, left to right here. Skenko pointed the Skenko Ultra Shock right next to that the Gamo Rocket the Crossman Premier Hollow Point and the uh, surprisingly the Red Fire with no tip I think that the Red Fire with no tip and the Skenko Ultra Shock can be interchanged they are just as good of a round just depends on what you happen to have in your pellet box at the time it's, uh, get a little bit of light on these two pellets that I've shot all the way through the center you will notice the pellet on the right hand side is the ultra shock the pellet on the left hand side is the red fire with no tip ultra shock Red fire.
The red, the red flyers are more expensive to come by, and since you have to do part of the work yourself, I, uh, I give the edge to the Skencos. The millimeters were 6.12 millimeters on both these rounds. It was identical expansion, so that's not really an issue here. Penetration, very, very, very similar. Channel left, very similar. I guess it all just comes down to cost. For my money, I'd go with the Skencos. They have a good fit and finish, good quality control, come out real uniform. And if all of them do this, I'm impressed. Well, you guys, this is the coolest piece of evidence that I've been able to come up with so far with the glycerin soap testing. So I hope you've enjoyed. Alright, thanks you guys, rate and subscribe.